Hello my awesome friends! Continuing with our video series on the autopilot and the turbo scanner strategies, today I will show you a Facebook Marketplace dropshipping automation strategy for beginners. The workflow and strategy are pretty much the same for Facebook Marketplace as it is for eBay. And I usually recommend for the first week on Facebook Marketplace to only list a few items a day. But after that, you can increase the number of listings per day without a problem. But then you might ask me, hey Rogerio, how many listings should I have per month? Let me tell you my friend, I think 300 listings a month is a good rule of thumb. If you're dropshipping from Walmart, then yes, for beginners, I would stick to items with free shipping, which is over $35 Walmart price. I also advise new sellers to not list items that cost over $150 until they are more comfortable with selling on Facebook. Now, there's one little thing that is different, is that on Facebook, we do charge our customers for shipping. Some sellers will break even on the listing price and make all their profit on the shipping charges. With all these in mind, let's run a scan with the autopilot to find winning products from Walmart. And PS, the autopilot also supports Amazon and other suppliers, okay? So let's do this. Computer time! All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're here in the autopilot and let's start our new scan. So we're using Walmart as supplier. Let's name it uh, Facebook Marketplace here for the example. And before we start, I would like to mention that we're planning to sell these items on Facebook Marketplace, right? So here we're going to use the data from eBay to validate demand and make sure that we're listing hot items. And this is why we're only going to focus on the following filters, sales history, Walmart categories, and selling price. The competitors here, the return of investment is not really necessary. So let's go over everything together here. Okay, so the categories, you can um, select all of them I would just exclude Walmart for business. And because Walmart buyers tend to leave less reviews on the products, I suggest to leave the review count empty and the average rating off as well. And then you click here, include similar items, because this filter will bring you a more unique variety of items. And let me talk a little bit about the similar items. So the similar items that Zig provides are similar to the top selling Walmart items, but different brands, colors, models. This way you can create a competitive advantage by listing unique or even one of a kind item, all right? And then you also check sold by Walmart. And for minimum sales, you can either put two sales for the last seven days, uh, four sales for the last 14 days or 21 days. Play a little bit with these filters here to find more results that will please you the most. Okay, and let's talk about the filter here. Price is very important, and let's place minimum 35, and the reason is because we want products starting with $35, so we also get free shipping, right? And then because we're selling the products on Facebook, we do not really care about the return of investment. This way we don't use the filter at all. I also suggest to leave sell through and success rate empty, all right? And then the idea is to list 10 items a day, right? So I would place here maybe 20 or even 30 uh, items to look for. And the reason why I'm doing this is so I can create a margin. I can be able to filter out the Vera items that might come up in the results. And then you simply start your scan. And then as you can see really quick, we found 30 products right here, right? And then you click here to see the results. And then you see the eBay photo, the supplier photo, eBay title, supplier title, eBay price, supplier price, sell through, successful rates, sales, competition, profit, and return of investment. Now, you see how many Vero items there are right here? This is why we selected a higher amount of products to scan. So we can filter them out if you wish, of course. And the options here are, you can upload them all, simply upload them all to your lister, or you can select whatever you, you want. For example, let's say like these three, and then you select 
upload selected and then you can directly upload to your listers you select your lister the marketplace the source the, the store of course and then you have these filters right here where you can exclude viral brands automatically and exclude restricted keywords this way you are safe to upload these uh, listings without any risks of getting your account suspended or uploading Vero uh, brands all right you can also do the same thing with exporting to csv files so you can export them all or you can just export selected here and then you still have the options and what i also suggest is like this because our goal is 300 items per month these 300 items i really suggest you to optimize them optimize the listings as much as possible the titles the photos the prices the descriptions everything and to optimize the title i suggest you to use the zix title builder and we have many of tutorials about it and many youtube videos about it so if you don't know how to use it make sure you watch them because seriously it's such a great tool you can use the title builder to upgrade the title with one two new keywords and then you can ride on your competitors success but of course with a better title uh, using better keywords so let's see basically that's it if you guys have any questions please comment below let's go back to the camera cool so the autopilot feature is a huge time saver and rely on ebay data it proves to work very well on facebook marketplace and when you combine both into one place you can easily scale your facebook marketplace business like crazy the autopilot is available on the enterprise plan in Zik Analytics and we currently have 50% off for the first month. So let me know what you think by commenting below. And by the way, as Colin R. Davis puts it, the road to success and the road to failure are almost exactly the same. So keep moving forward and see you next time.